Hey there, Baker Bites fam! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going on a culinary adventure to Sri Lanka with a delicious seafood lunch spread. Get ready for five mouthwatering recipes that will make your taste buds dance. Tsius! First up, we have Sanja, a dessert that's perfect for hot summer days. It's also a great accompaniment to seafood dishes like crabs or lobster. To make Sanja, combine four cups of water in a pot. In a small bowl, Add one tablespoon of agar-agar powder and three tablespoon water, and mix until smooth paste forms. Then add one teaspoon of cardamom powder to the water. Place the pan over a medium heat. Now bring to a simmer and add in the agar-agar paste and mix well. and now add six to eight tablespoons of sugar. Whisk until dissolved. Remove from the heat. And strain over the glass dish. Refrigerate for two to four hours or until set. Once set, cut into squares and it's ready to serve. All the ingredients used in this video will be listed in the description yeah. below. Be sure to check it out. Next up, we have a mouth-watering shrimp stir-fry that's ready in just a few minutes. To make the shrimp stir-fry in a bowl, combine curry powder, pepper, onion powder, turmeric powder, chili powder, cumin powder, and ginger garlic paste, and 1 8 cup of water. Mix until smooth, add the shrimp, and mix until all the shrimp has been coated. Let it set for 5 to 10 minutes. Then add one quarter cup of oil to a pan over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add the shrimp and cook until a thick paste forms and the oil is released. Stirring occasionally, then add curry leaves and mix well. Transfer the shrimp fry to a serving dish. Now, let's dive into the star of the show, crab curry. This rich and flavorful curry is a staple in Sri Lankan cuisine. To make the crab curry, heat some oil in a pan over medium heat. Add all the whole spice, bay leaf, cardamom, cinnamon stick, star anise, garlic clove, fenugreek, and a medium-sized onion. Cook until fragrant, then add green chili, curry leaves, and mix again. Now add ginger garlic paste and mix until the raw smell is no more. Now add in the sliced tomato. Cook until the onions are translucent and the tomatoes are mushy. Now let's add curry powder, cumin powder, onion powder, salt to taste, chili flakes, chili powder, turmeric powder, and mix well. And now add six crabs that have been cleaned. Mix until the crabs are fully coated in the masala. Pour in one cup of water and close the pot and let it simmer for 10 to 20 minutes. Once the time has passed, give the crab curry a good mix and remove from the heat. Transfer to a serving dish. Next up, we have yellow rice, a flavorful and aromatic side dish that pairs perfectly with our seafood spread. To make the yellow rice, wash rice until the water runs clear and set aside until needed. Heat some oil and ghee in a multi-cooker. Add in the whole spices, bay leaf, cardamom pods, cinnamon stick, and star anise. Cook until fragrant, then add garlic cloves onion, tomato, and pandan leaf. 
Cook until the onions turn golden brown. Now add the water and turmeric powder and salt to taste and give it a good mix. And give it a quick taste test to ensure you have enough salt. Once the water come to a boil and add in the washed rice. Cook until the water is absorbed. Then fluff with a wooden spoon. Transfer the yellow rice to a serving dish. This is optional garnish, the rice with fried onion and fried cashew. And you can also sprinkle some dunaya for color. Finally, we have a delicious veg curry that's perfect for a quick and easy lunch. To make the veg curry, heat some oil in a pan over medium heat. Add in the sliced carrot, bell pepper, capsicum, and the garlic cloves. Cook until the veggies are tender. For extra flavor, add curry leaves and pandan leaves. Then add curry powder and salt to taste and mix until the spice is distributed evenly. And one cup of water and close the pot and simmer for seven to 10 minutes. Once the veggies are soft, add the coconut milk or cream. I'm using the store bought coconut cream. Cook until it reaches a simmer Once it reaches a simmer, immediately remove from the heat. And that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed this seafood Sri Lankan style lunch spread. Like this video by clicking the thumbs up button. Share it with your friends and family who might enjoy it. Comment below with your thoughts, questions, or suggestions. Subscribe to my channel for more recipe videos and cooking content. Your support means the world to me, and I'm so grateful to have you all as part of my Baker Bites community.